And then she says, just out of the blue, no prompting, she says, okay, did you know that black people are cursed? Just like that. And I went, what? With what? Like, like a disease? And she's like, no, 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 listen, black people are cursed. And I said, what do you mean? She said, oh, do you know what happened in the preexistence? And I said, no. She's like, okay, so I'm going to tell you. So, you know, in the beginning, you know, we were all spirit children. We were with Heavenly Father. There was Jesus Christ. There was Satan. You know how he took a third of people with him? I said, yeah. She said, and Satan then he, did. Satan took a third of the host of heaven with him. And then the rest of us went with, with God and Jesus Christ, but not black people. And I went, wait, what? And she said, well, in the preexistence, black people weren't valiant. And I said, valiant? She said, and they were fence sitters. And I said, what do you mean, like? sitting on the fence like I don't I don't understand she said listen this is what happened so when Jesus Christ was giving his plan and and um, Satan was giving his plan you didn't choose either one you kind of wanted to come down here get your body and see who would win the war and then you would choose then and so you were punished for that but the good thing is you're here now you're baptized and now you can prove yourself. So you get your body, you live a good life. Now, remember, it's going to be hard because of your decision. Your lot in life is going to be really hard, but you chose that. You knew that you have a veil put over you. You won't remember, but you guys made these choices. You accepted this as part of the plan. You wanted to be black. You chose to be black. You chose this trial because you knew you can endure and you knew that you were going to be rewarded in the hereafter. Not just that, but you were a fence sitter. You yeah. weren't valiant, and so it's almost like you're black because you were lazy or indecisive. But that's what she in, said. In the preexistence. Yeah. And I said, okay. But she, she said this was her face. She said, but you're baptized now. You can prove yourself. You can endure. You will be great. Just hustle, 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 Yeah, hustle. you will be so great. You will be forgiven. Now it's going to be hard, and you chose this trial. You chose this it's your trial. Fault. It's all your fault. It's your, you chose it. So don't complain wow. about it. And I ain't gonna lie, that don't sound too far-fetched to me. I listened to that, I had to listen to that shit at least three, four times before I could really listen to what she was saying. So basically what you saying before in the pre-existing life, black people was like, I ain't choosing bad, I ain't choosing good. I just want to see what's gonna happen. That's what you telling me. And in and, and other words, we were fence sitters. We didn't know whose side to choose. Is that the reason why it's so hard for niggas to choose sides now? Shit, got me thinking, man. Got me thinking, though. Then it got me thinking. They was basically saying that we was lazy. It ain't that, that first of all, fence sitters and valiant, val, val, however you say that word, valiant, whatever the fuck. I don't think it mean lazy. I don't think it mean lazy. It just means like not this, like you can't make a decision for the most part. But I'm gonna go look this term up because well, I was trying to quit to call a nigga lazy, bro. Like quit to do that. But. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna have to look that word up. But how do y'all feel about this situation and these circumstances? Do y'all feel like that fits the truth, basically? Like, so that's why we go through what we go through because we couldn't decide what we wanted to do. Shit don't sound too far fetched, I ain't gonna lie. Not too far fetched, but it's just the lazy part for me. I don't know what y'all got going on, but y'all need to go ahead and get to it, man. Run this video up. Stop playing with me. Yeah.